In Path of Exile Expeditions, we have 19 new skill gems coming to the game, but a ton of nerfs as well. So today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about why you should definitely play one of the 19 new gems. There's a lot of reasoning, so let's get into it. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and as you may have seen in the intro today, I'm going to be talking about the gems again, the new gems coming in 3.15 Expedition. Uh, we have just seen the manifesto, so this video is coming out after the manifesto. If you want a text-to-speech version of the manifesto, uh, read by a fireplace by the lovely Professor Badger, uh, it's the last video on my channel, I'll put a link down below as well, so you can go and check that out. But there's a lot of information that came through there. A lot of nerfs coming, a lot of changes to how some damages are working, and a lot of hidden buffs that people are, I, I would say, um, choosing to forget about uh, as they read the manifesto. Today we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting that I've come to a conclusion of that I'm going to be doing myself, only playing builds of the new gems coming out, uh, and why I think that you should at least give it a consideration as well to do this. Now, right before we start, if you enjoy this content, as always, if you're still sitting here watching Badger's content, you're like, dude, this Badger guy, he's kind of cool, but then you realize you haven't hit that sub button down below. You know what? It's one click. Click that one. Let's get into it. So, 19 new gems. What could go wrong with League starting a new gem? In the past, this has definitely gone wrong for a lot of people. Um, uh, things like Crackling Lance uh, was uh, a build guide that a certain content creator may have made a build guide for, and then a lot of people got debated into using it, and then it turned out pretty trash. Uh, I've done the same thing by uh, hyping up a new skill, um, and you know it turns out to not be that great. But this time around, we've got 19 new gems. These are all looking really good. Uh, we obviously don't have the patch notes just yet. We don't have the actual gem numbers of uh, level 20. However, it's actually really looking like all of these new gems are going to be bringing something new to Path of Exile. And there's one big reason why I say that you should at least consider League starting a new gem. Now, as we know through the manifesto and through a lot of talk in Path of Exile uh, 3.15, there's a lot of nerfs coming. There's a lot of nerfs to how damage uh, is working with skills, a lot of nerfs to skill mechanics themselves, and probably still a lot of nerfs that we haven't seen so far in terms of the meta skills coming through. Um, now, the reason that it's going to feel pretty bad to you know league start one of those old skills again is because you have a frame of reference of how that skill used to feel in the game. Say, for example, you slap on the Blade Vortex, you play through the game, you realize that once you get to uh, Katava, you're doing 40% less damage than you normally would, and you've built it exactly the same. You're like, what's going on? This feels really shit. If you play a new skill, that's not going to happen. You don't have a frame of reference of the power of that skill, right? So you might be like, oh, this might not feel as powerful as Blade Vortex, but it's something new. I'm playing something new. Path of Exile's put a lot of effort into these new skills. It's going to feel real nice. Uh, because you don't have that frame of reference, hopefully. Now, there may be some exceptions with some of the skills that just might not feel that good, but I'm going to go over a couple of skill gems that I think are really going to take us by storm and potentially even be the new top meta here today. There's going to be some skills that are going to be really, really good at clear speed, really, really good at bossing, uh, potentially, hopefully. Uh, a little bit of uh, you know disclaimer there, I don't know. We haven't played these gems yet. I am not a playtester. I don't know what these actually feel like. But just by my knowledge, by my uh, extensive knowledge of the game, I can kind of see that these might work fairly well. So we're going to go over a few of them here today. So the first one that I do want to go over is Earth Shatter, uh, sorry, Earth Breaker support. Earth Breaker support is meaning that you can use any slams uh, in a totem. So this is really, really strong. You are getting a 19% less damage and 30% less attack speed with these. But this is bringing so much more to the table. Using Earth Shatter in your uh, Slam Totems is going to be really nice to stack up some big burst damage. You can even use Leap Slam in your Totems because that is a Slam for some really good clear and stacking some AoE and having your Totems leap around while you just walk through everything. Uh, so that's going to be really, really interesting. I think we're going to see some really nice combos coming out of this. There's uh, some great things that you can do with Face Breakers and, uh, um, and Totems themselves. There was astronomical numbers you could reach beforehand, just even on Ancestral War Chief. So if you're using face breakers with slams on Earthbreaker support now, uh, you can probably see that there's going to be some pretty nice damage coming out of these ones right here. So that's going to be pretty strong, I think. Uh, moving on, there's a couple of things coming through in the champion side of things. 
Uh, champion, uh, well, not quite champion, sorry, duelist, but the, uh, the gladiator-inspired shield crush. Originally, I was like, oh, this might not be that good, but they have, uh, said that they're extensively reworking and buffing the damage on the shield skills themselves. So I reckon shield crush could be a really, really, really nice, uh, uh, really nice skill to be able to get some pretty tasty damage if you've got a really big armor or evasion raiding shield right there. So that could be really, really nice. Um, one thing that I think is going to be extremely strong uh, is Storm Rain. Now, not a ton of people are talking about Storm Rain, but basically Storm Rain is looking like it's going to be Toxic Rain, but a lightning version. Stacking a bunch of projectiles and a less area um, over time. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, less uh, area of effect. Uh, I think that this is going to be an extremely strong boss killer. Stacking a bunch of arrows really close together, all chaining to each other. I think that can really shotgun bosses down. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how that actually feels, but I've got a pretty good feeling right there uh, with that one. Uh, now, I know I'm skipping over a bunch of them, but I'm talking about things that I think are really going to be strong. So uh, kind of taking one from each of them. Now, uh, right in the uh, uh, the shadow version, something that I am honestly potentially league starting with because uh, we've got some really, really great information about uh, traps is Blade Trap. Now, Blade Trap is going to be super strong, I do feel. There's a couple of really, really good uh, claws or daggers out there, and I think they've announced that they're also adding one-handed swords to Blade Trap as well. It says here, oh yeah, it does say it now, dagger, claw, or one-handed sword around it in a circle. Um, I'm not going to say too much because uh, I'm still working on it, but Poison Blade Trap is probably going to be my league starter, and holy moly does it look good. There's other things that you can use, like Vulcanus, because that's a really, really strong uh, dagger if it doesn't get nerfed. And with the addition of one-handed swords, there's a bunch of stuff uh, coming through there as well. So we'll have to wait and see how that looks. Uh, close second is definitely Voltaxic Burst. I think this looks really, really strong as well, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's like a Discharge uh, type build. I really want to have a look at that one. Then we have uh, all of these skills here. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be talking about Forbidden Right as a really good clear speed skill and potentially even damage uh, on bosses as well. A lot of people are talking about Eye of Winter, but the one that I'm most interested in is Summon Reaper. Summon Reaper is going to be super, super awesome because it's just a new minion skill. We all love minion skills. Uh, I really want to see how much damage you can pump out of Reaper. Uh, very, very excited there, and I think that's going to be a really fun one to league start, and you can easily fall back into a generic minion build if Summon Reaper turns out to not be that good. Uh, then, looking at your uh, Templar, Mr. Pants, uh, or Pants Less Man, I really think that uh, Battle Mage's Cry is actually going to be a very, very strong, potentially the strongest slams that we're going to see in the current meta through Battle Mage's Cry. Uh, obviously, uh, Inquisitor is getting a little bit of a defensive nerf because we're no longer getting immunity through Inquisitor, but you'd probably play something like Inquisitor, Battle Mage's Cry with some pretty nasty slams and spell damage there as well. Close second, Absolution, basically a spell version of Dominating Blow, very, very strong. Uh, that's basically it. The, the other one that I didn't quite talk about right at the very top uh, is the... Where is he? Spectra Helix. Uh, Spectra Helix is looking really good, but we really have no frame of reference how this is going to actually shotgun bosses, if it's going to shotgun bosses, but I think it's going to do really well. Everything coupled together with the manifesto of a bunch of other stuff being nerfed, once again, I think that you're really going to enjoy Path of Exile a lot more if you do start one of these new skills. Now, I know uh, that a lot of people do struggle creating their own builds, so I'm going to be here trying to help as many people as possible. Obviously, I'm not going to have a build guide for every single new skill right off the bat, because that's too much, and also, uh, we don't actually, we haven't actually played these skills yet, so I don't feel justified in making build guides for them before we can actually play them. However, as I said, my goal for myself, I'm going to be playing softcore uh, trade league again, but I'm only going to be playing new skills or builds with new skills or with an exception of a new unique if an old skill works with a new unique well. I'm going to be only using new things. So uh, probably starting uh, either Blade Trap or Reaper are probably going to be my two starters. Uh, and then just looking uh, at everything else along the way, we're going to be doing a bunch of builds. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is giving you a little bit of a uh, motivation boost for the new Path of Exile League. Uh, so, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what skill you're thinking about starting with. And as always, Badger out.